they have. Mark Lemke. Mark Lemke. No, what was the other the pitcher they had? Uh, John Small, Steve Avery, Tom Glavin. Yeah, Tom Glavin. That's your boy, Tom Glavin. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Six days. Yeah, I ran through some bitches from Pittsburgh. This, uh, oh, for real? Yeah, they're here right now. Ah, oh, shit. That's yeah. some of his old hoes. And they close to you. For real? Yep. Wow. Anyway, let's get in the spirit, bro. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this, talk let's do this Judas. Uh, you have something about to read? Look, you got a scripture. Yep. Bring it out. We can go with the spirit. We can ask man. how we do it. We can ask man. Uh, Psalms 94, what? O oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O oh God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Render a reward to the proud, because we're dealing with some proud ass people out here. Some proud heathens. You know what I'm saying? They trust in their so called science and their knowledge, but they ain't got no knowledge. When you try to teach these people the Bible, they get proud. They're like, Bible's mythology. That's old shit. Keep going. Psalms 94 and 3. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? Yeah, how long shall the wicked triumph? Like, how long is these cops going to keep killing people? Because right before I came out here, I was watching that video. I think Alex Jones posted it. Was that, uh, you see that shit when that day? They got a dude uh, up in New Jersey. Them cops killed that dude. They got it on camera. Y'all see that? Uh, uh, oh, this is New Jersey. Yeah. Well, they said it happened last month, but they just released the footage. But it, here it is again and again. These cops just well, it's really good y'all getting killed by the cops. Y'all a bunch of wicked bastards anyway. You ain't follow the commandments of the Lord. But these goddamn cops are goddamn terrorists. You know what I'm saying? There's not, there's not one good cop. There's no such thing as a good cop. And you listen to Alex Jones, he's always talking about there's good cops. No, there's not. There's not. The dude's out of his fucking mind, man. They ain't supposed to have no goddamn cops. Fuck the police. Now, keep going. How long shall they utter and speak hard things? Yeah, how long are they gonna utter? Everybody out here, they speak nothing but blasphemy. Because out here in America, it's okay for faggots to get married. Adultery is legal. People when they encourage adultery, they don't see no problem with the woman fucking a hundred dudes, having five different babies' daddies. They think that's normal. Keep on. And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. Yeah, they always boast about themselves. Like these bitches always talking about her pussy. She got that wet wet. Or, you know what I'm saying? People talking about, I'm goddamn Benjamin. I'm stacking them. I'm getting money. You listen to all these rappers, all they talking about how fly they are. They the illest motherfucker. They got the most skills. They, uh, you know what I'm saying? Everything's about the ego. It's an ego, it's an egocentric society that we live in. Everybody thinks they're a goddamn superstar. Oh, that's like your boy, the girl in Hebrew. They think it's all about him. Here we go again. So I was 94 and four. How long shall they utter and speak hard things and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? Yeah, the workers of iniquity always want to boast about themselves, about how great and spectacular they are, okay? Because really, you're supposed to be selfish. You're supposed to put your brother before yourself, not bragging about how, how awesome you are. You know what I'm saying, keep going. Psalms 94 and 5. They break in they break in pieces that people, O oh Lord, and afflict thy heritage. Oh, they afflict the heritage of Israel. That's why in America, that's why there's so many abortions. That's part of that eugenics program. 
Didn't it say the most dangerous place for a, a black child is inside of a black woman's womb? Ooh. That's all by design. That's all by Esau is committing genocide against the Israelites. That's all that is. They slay the widow and the stranger and the murder the fatherless. Yet they say the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand ye brutish among the people, and ye fools. Yeah, ye fools. When will ye be wise? When will ye fools be wise? Y'all a bunch of fools. That's nice you know what I'm saying? Yo, you never gonna get no wisdom. When ye fools gonna be wise? <laughs> these, that's right, these fools got no wisdom. None, they don't know shit. The only kind of wisdom these people out here got is football knowledge. We said it a thousand times. The only knowledge they got is how to run a 4-3 cover. You know what I'm saying? The eye formation. What, five wide receivers? What else they got? <laughs> Dime packets, nickel packets. And now the biggest story in the news. Here it is, we got World War III about to break out and they worried about New England deflating football. You know what I'm saying? That's the top story in the news of New England letting the air out of a goddamn ball. What did Tom Brady say? Huh? What Tom Brady say? We're okay. not ISIS. Even Tom Brady said it. He said, it "Ain't like this is ISIS or something." I forget the exact quote. He's like, "Y'all acting like this is ISIS or something. This is goddamn football. Ain't nobody getting killed here. It's a goddamn football game. To you stupid people, football is more important than a world war than genocide. You know what I'm saying? The people getting slaughtered and killed. The cops shooting people. You know what I'm saying? You got cops killing all kind of people." Do people in Columbus, Ohio, do they riot? No, they only riot when the Buckeyes win a national championship. They never protest the injustices or the corrupt government. They will only riot when the Buckeyes win a football game. And it makes no goddamn sense. Keep going. That was, that was it. Man. Oh, yeah. This, this is Proverbs, nice 1, one. Proverbs 1 and 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Right, so when the Lord starts jacking you fools up, we, the Lord is gonna laugh at you. <laughs> Just like in Psalms, of, uh, what's that at, where you, where you at? I'm in uh, Proverbs 1. Proverbs 1, just like in Psalms, what is that, Psalms 2? I'm gonna get it to back you up. Read that again. Um, I will also laugh at your calamity. Somebody get, uh, somebody get, 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 get the uh, I will also laugh at your calamity. So the Lord gonna mock you, man. Not only is he gonna laugh at you when you getting fucked up, but he gonna talk shit to you while you getting fucked up. Just like when we see some, somebody get hit by a car, not only do we laugh at you when you get hit, but we gonna walk by and talk shit while you laying on the ground. Like, yeah, that's what you get, you wicked motherfucker. You talk, that's why the Lord got your ass. You was talking shit, but you ain't talking shit now, are you? You know what I mean? Yeah. We think that's funny, man. When the Lord jacks people up, we laugh at that, man. That's right. That, that's a joy to us. That's right. That's we, right. We trying to. You out there looting and shit. You out there uh, scavenging these carryouts while these riots going on. You deserve to get what the fuck you gonna get. You know? Oh, some people try to justify that shit. Right, right, right. You can't justify that. Oh, well, two thirds can justify that. Yeah, two. I mean, that's two thirds behavior. Yeah, that's right. Now, a man in the Lord ain't supposed to be looting, robbing, and riding. Be like, why? Well, I, I did it in the name of the Lord. Mm. It, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You even got scriptures mm, in the book of Joshua. We heard about food from this shit in the name of the Lord. Oh yeah, we know personally somebody who's stealing in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. We curse his ass out for that shit. When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I would not answer. Yeah, so, yeah, when the Lord is fucking you up, you got some cops shooting your ass, or you getting the shit beat out of you, and all of a sudden, you're gonna pray to the Most High. Yeah. And the Most High's like, pff, pff, get him, boys. They just right. gonna fuck you up. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that, they hated knowledge. Yeah, because these fools hate knowledge, man. The only, only true knowledge is the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. Everything else is secondary. Okay, this this is the, the primary knowledge. Uh, keep going. Um, 
and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Yeah, like people just, the Lord's reproof is when you get those prophets are cursing you out. Because we're the apostles and prophets. So we're out here to reprove people. So when people despise the words that we speaking, they despise the most high. That's right. And the majority of people despise us. They hate us. You know what I mean? They talk shit about us. They laugh at us. They ain't no good pieces of shit. That's why. Keep going. That majority is huge. That's a huge number. Two thirds. And two, thir two thirds is a majority percent. Mm -hmm. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. Yeah, you're going to right. And be filled with their own devices. Isn't that what they call karma? You reap what you sow? Ooh. I mean, that's a basic principle of the universe. You know what I'm saying? What goes around comes around. Like a goddamn boomerang. Hit your ass right in your stupid ass head. I got a scripture to back you up. Psalms 2. And uh, one, uh, two, I'm just going to read it all. Psalms 2 and 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? All these people out here, all their thoughts are vain. All their actions is vain, okay? All their interests and in what they talking about, it's all bullshit. It's all vanity. Okay, they're insignificant. They think that they so special. Like these dumbass bitches out here, they think they so special. You know what I mean? They ain't shit. They don't mean, they're insignificant. You know what I'm saying? And they got, they got the, they got so much pride, they actually like to vote about how, oh, I'm so beautiful. My pussy's so delicious. And bitches ugly as fuck. Yeah, they be ugly as fuck. That's the thing, that's the thing. Ugly ass bitch, they talk that bitch and say that, uh, if I don't love myself and think I'm beautiful, who else will? You know, so I gotta yeah. think I'm beautiful. And then they think everybody owes them something, mm -hmm. too. Think the whole world owes them something. Nobody owe you, owe you bitches shit. Not a motherfucking thing. Think, everybody think they privileged. Especially these women. And these women are out of order. These women are disgusting. Mm. They're filthy savages, mm. filthy animals. Mm. Wild beasts, mm. wilder beasts. Mm. They're, wilder, uh, they're goddamn gorillas. And <laughs> yeah, they, um, it's, it's extreme like that. It is, it's, yeah, it's extreme. extreme. I, I don't mm -hmm. know how, I'm just trying to, mm -hmm. just trying to paint that picture. What's up, What's up bro? That's why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying. So we're the Lord's anointed. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Just like he read in Proverbs. When y'all destruction come, the Lord's gonna laugh at you. So people are, God's all love. Mm -hmm. No, God God is love and hate. And God hates the wicked. And he hates them so much that he's going to kill them. And while he's fucking you up and killing you, he's going to laugh at you while he's doing it. Pain. And he's going to enjoy it, too. It's going to be an enjoyable time. A man of war. man of war. The Lord is a man of war. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think there's so much war on the face of the earth? But the Lord likes war. Yeah, he's orchestrating it all. He likes it. That's fun to him. That's right. He's the one that set it all up and made it happen. Mm. He's the one to put the spirit in the in the, the president's heart to go to war. Mm. Or to, you know what I mean? That's right. To the so-called New World Order, the Illuminati, the Rothschilds. Mm -hmm. he, he put that in their heart. It says, then he shall speak unto them in his wrath and vex them with this sore displeasure. That's right, because it's really right. The Lord was laughing at them Japanese motherfuckers when the atomic bombs got dropped on them too. Okay? Because the Lord put that, that spirit in those scientists who developed that uh, nuclear bomb. That was the Lord who created that nuclear weapon. Yeah, what kind of high scripture? That's how I say it. Yeah, that's like wild meat when I first yeah. heard it. Man. What's that, Isaiah 54 or that's something? Wild meat, yeah. So that, that's, I'll get it. That, that breaks it down right yeah, there. That's bad, like, man. That's bad, man. You know, it was, Smith had the, the <laughs> yeah, whole perfect plan. 
perfect plan. You know, that's exactly what they do when they fashion those uh those ICBMs, man. That's just coming through a fire to, to shake that the, the missiles, man. You know, the missiles. Uh, they're using elements that you know right. the Lord created. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Right, because the Lord gave all the knowledge we got came from the Most High. All these advanced forms of mathematics, that all came to, uh, from the Most High Why you, in, in the vision of the night. Like Nikola Tesla, we always talk about Nikola Tesla. He, he believed in the Bible, but he, he talked about how he had visions and dreams where knowledge was revealed to him in dreams and visions. You know what I mean? That's a fact. Let me read it. Oh, you got something, don't you? you something? Yeah, Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold. I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. That's right. And I have created the waster to destroy. Waster. It is. So that's the Lord who put the spirit the in, his, in the scientist's heart. The modern day uh, uh, blacksmith, or the ancient world of blacksmith created swords. These days, the modern day blacksmith is a nuclear scientist. A physicist. Yeah, that you know what I mean? Let me keep going. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. <laughs> hey, anybody come over here talking shit? We're gonna condemn you. And condemn, that con means with and damn means damn. So, that means with damnation. We're gonna damn you. We gonna, you know say that's why you can say goddamn. God like goddamn you motherfuckers. Ain't nothing wrong with saying that. Right. You are taking God's name in vain. <laughs> or like I heard the other day, why are you damning God? Yeah, why? Yeah. When you say goddamn, you ain't damning God. I heard this other day. Actually, when you saying goddamn something, you asking God to damn it. Yeah. Like like fuck this shit. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what it says. <laughs> Yeah, people are stupid, man. Yeah. They used to be repeating oh, yeah, the, the foolish bullshit they say. So they repeat the, they screw out that vomit, you know? Right. They screw out that same vomit that somebody taught them, and they listen. They look like complete idiots when they They just repeating that dumb shit they heard growing parents. up. Parents. And a parrot is more intelligent than these motherfuckers anyway. Yeah. The little bird brain got more sense than you Right, a bird brain, right. <laughs> Psalms, Psalms 109 and 1. Oh, not that peace, O oh God, of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without cause. Scoffers. Yes. For my love, they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Yeah. Set right thou. Give him. This is a good one given. Mm -hmm. The word, the truth. Set thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. And hey, that's these fools, when they pray, that's a sin. That's just like an Isaiah. He said that your uh, sacrifices are an abomination. Your, prayer, your prayers and your sacrifices are a goddamn abomination. The Lord don't want to hear your, if, you, if you're part of the two thirds, the Lord does not want to hear your prayer. It's just noise. You know, you a superstar and shit, you got all kind of high stats, but they calling you somebody else? How offensive is that, man? So how do you think the Lord looking at it? Offensive as hell. Jesus. <laughs> let, his, let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Mm. Let the extortioner catch all that he hath, and let the stranger spoil his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him. Mm. Mm. Neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. That sounds like somebody that was goddamned. Yeah. <laughs> like Judas. <laughs> let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the inequity of his fathers be remembered 
with the Lord and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth because that he remembered not to show mercy but persecuted the poor and needy man that he might even slay the broken in heart. Well, yeah, you got people that want to kill us. Some people hate me. I was on Twitter the other day. This dude told me I needed to get my head chopped off. He said I deserve to be guillotined. That's a compliment, Steve. All right, I mean, that's, that's a compliment. But he said we was hateful. Mm -hmm. I, but he said I needed to, be, to get my head chopped off. Right, right. He hated me teaching the Bible so bad that I, he said I needed to go to the guillotine. You got something to do that? Proverbs 28, verse 9. I mean, 4. They that forsake the law. I mean, wait, sorry. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Yeah, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. That's yeah, right. You don't want to hear the, the words of the Lord. Your prayer is an abomination. If you're teaching it's okay to be a faggot, the Lord ain't hearing your prayers. You got your goddamn mind. Because you got a lot of people in these modern day churches. They'll say the church has evolved. <laughs> we have modernized it. That's an old book. We have must evolve with the times. The times are a changing. Man, hey, shit change. The Bible said there's new note in Ecclesiastes first chapter. It says there's no new thing under the sun. You know what I'm saying? There ain't shit change. The sun arose and set just like it did 4,000 years ago. Ain't nothing changed. Right, all oh, 300 million years ago, back when we were single-celled uh, bacteria, we were single-celled organisms. Okay, this is Revelation 19 and 11. Um, and I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Oh, he does judge and make war. So that that's all through the scriptures. <laughs> so the Lord is a man of war. He likes war. And people always say, they always try to say that, uh, that the, they always complain about how much war there is, you know what I mean? Talking about how the Bible caused so much war. Like the Bible's caused nothing but wars. Mm. Well, that, the Bible tells you that. It says the Lord is a man of war. Fucking geniuses, man. People ain't too bright. And that's part of the likeness. That's why mm -hmm. the war always going to be war. Until, you know what I'm saying? That's where you get honor and glory anyway, ain't it? It's a war. Mm -hmm. Back in the ancient world, fighting in battle, that was one of the greatest things you could do. See, these days, everybody wants to be a wide receiver. They want to be a halfback. Back in the ancient world, you wanted to be in the greatest swordsman. You know what I'm saying? The best shot with a bow and an arrow. People would strive to be the greatest warrior, not the greatest fucking running back or quarterback. Or hey, hey motherfuckers, I know want to be the, uh, the greatest uh, fucking next, next rap star. Oh, be the greatest rapper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and all, the, all them words they rapping, they ain't saying shit. Mischievous madness. <laughs> Cause that, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with making music as long as you make, as long as you making some righteous music. But all these rappers, these people with these mixtapes, they ain't rapping about shit. They're talking about a bunch of garbage. You know what I mean? With their corny ass metaphors and shit is just garbage, man. Garbage. Garbage. It's just terrible. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Horrible. Amos. <laughs> Psalm 68, verse 20. He that is our God is the God of salvation. And unto God the Lord belong the issues of death. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah. the dude in New Jersey that just got his hand blew off the other day. Oh, that, that was a, that was a, even though the cops are the goddamn devil. Mm -hmm. you the know cops that, the, here in Columbus, Ohio, the cops that blew a motherfucking nigga way up at uh, the airport. Yeah, I see oh, that. Yeah, I heard mm -hmm. about Blew that. Blew him away, oh, you know? Airport. 
You know, I mean, come on, man. You know they exaggerated the fucking story, though. Well, they but always still, exaggerate. Right, but still, that wicked ass nigga got blown away. He got away. marked. Yep. The most high was what is it? He would have got shot like that. Yep. They said he attacked. Hey, ah, 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 talking about screaming. I love walk by. Came out that night. <laughs> and that nigga looked like I knew him too. Oh, like somebody shit. I knew, man. See, that's <laughs> what being a Muslim it gets you. Get you blown away. Get you blown away. <laughs> For real. Y'all talking about, yeah, you will be down the nation of Islam. We'll see what's going to happen to the nation of Islam. Yep. Because yep. <laughs> everybody's really starting to hate Muslims. It's going to be bad to be a Muslim. You know what I mean? Oh, you said there's going to be religious wars out here. Yep. There's going to be race wars, religious wars, economic uh, wars. Class war. uh, yeah, class warfare. You see what's happening? People getting fed up with these heathens, man. All these goddamn Muslims. They see how these Muslims coming over here living for free, getting good jobs. The Hindus is coming over here living, living for free, getting you know everything for free. People get tired of that shit, man. Living fucking lords. They living lords. You know, mm. goddamn Somalians. Mm. These filthy fucks. They come over here. They get everything handed to them. Them Etrians, what are they, what's that country, Etria? I can't even say that shit. You know, them, them, they look like Somalians, they related to Somalians. The ones that be down there in that club down there. The border. Oh, yeah, yeah. They all got nice they got ass clothes. Jake ain't got shit. Jake, Jake ain't got a goddamn thing. He done been over in America for how many hundreds of years? Like, we've been over this, we've been over this motherfucking country since this, since this bitch started. And we, we ain't got shit, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got shit. As it's it. They right. This is 2nd Avenue 13 and 29. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. Y'all don't believe in the Most High. And he, I too, I too, and he I shall too, come too. to astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, yep. one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the sign shall happen which I showed thee before. And then shall my son be de declared, whom thou sawest as a man ascending. As a, as a man ascending, what does that mean to ascend? Because the Lord coming out of the sky in a chariot, man. That's, that's, that's the key right there. So-called UFOs are in the Bible. Okay, yeah, we're crazy. We're, we're lunatics. We're nuts. We're whacked out. You know what I'm saying? But you can't deny us the UFOs. Okay, there's so much proof that UFOs, I mean, you just get on YouTube and type in UFO sighting. You get like two billion uh, results, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the videos are endless. Yeah, yeah. You, I don't even watch them no more. People say, you see the new UFO sighting? I'm like, no. I mean, I like watching them, but it's not hard to see them. If we get a clear sky, you look up, you'll see some chariots. Yeah, you know I was I, mean? I was watching early this uh, Russian cosmonaut man. He was breaking the shit down about the chariots, man. He was breaking it down. Was that in one cosmonaut that said he seen a celestial? He said he was out there in the spaceship mm. and he looked out the window and he said he seen a giant celestial being with wings. That's crazy. What is that the one you saw? Nah, it's a whole different one. Man. Uh, what does he say? I know, I know that one you're talking about too. Yeah. Yeah, but he was just bringing it down how the chariots going in and out from one. He, he said they witnessed they coming from one uh, dimension to another dimension. Yeah, it's going out of the dimension. Right, right. He was just breaking it down by like he didn't heard the scriptures or something. Like that. You know, he was just breaking it down. Yeah, that's why the, they, they can't. The chariots, they controlling everything out there in outer space, man. Ain't nothing getting past them. But yeah, we some crazy, man. We believe in UFOs and spaceships and shit. That's like one of the foundations of the truth that really makes me believe in the truth. Because I've seen chariots before. 
my own eyes many times. And the scriptures tell you over and over again, that's how the Lord's coming back to the earth. That, that's a key part of the truth. Yeah, you bugged out crazy. I gotta ask one if you want. That motherfuckers is crazy. I am crazy. You want next one? Watch my marbles. Huh? Next one? Oh yeah, we can always read that. We oh, we had Psalm 68. We can bring that out again. I'll oh, go ahead. Okay. This is Acts 1 and 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and all Judea, the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. A cloud received him. That's a cloud is a chariot. That was the Lord after he was done teaching the disciples. When, a, when he left the earth, he said he went up into the sky and the cloud received him. What the hell is that talking about? <laughs> right, right. Because uh, you got your average Christian to read that. And they'll think that Jesus, he just floated away. <laughs> like, where did he go? <laughs> like, he went to heaven. Jesus went to heaven in the clouds. <laughs> he went he's by the fucking pearly gates and shit. You know what I'm saying, man? And the, the one thing I noticed about these fucking Edomites every time, when that image, like, with the cloud coming down, they always butt naked and shit. Right, they got the little angels with it. They got naked angels with it. There's a girl right there. Naked as shit. Yeah, they always got some butt naked like, angels. Where's, where's the garments at? With their like, balls hanging out. Come on, man. Well, here's the commandments of the Bible say you're not supposed to look on another man's nakedness. And another thing, angels don't have penises. Okay? Angels have celestial bodies. They don't reproduce. They don't go to the bathroom. They don't take a shit. You know, they ain't got to take a piss. They don't even breathe. They, they, they don't need to breathe. They don't need to eat. So if, if an angel does not go to the bathroom, he don't take a shit. He don't take a piss. Why, why would he even need a penis? Doesn't make any damn sense. Angel get constipated. Yeah, yeah angel will get constipated. He got heartburn. <laughs> right, right. Like the angels up there working in the heavens, he got to take a lunch break. Right. He gonna right. sit sit down on the toilet with a newspaper, park read the chair, news. Park his chariot. Park, park his from. chariot. <laughs> We'll he got a celestial to. turd. The <laughs> celestial turd come out with all glowing and shit. <laughs> people are stupid as hell. Man, people man. are dumb, man. They, they just they just don't get it. Yeah, that's how they come up with that bullshit. Uh, Mary has sex with an angel. Right, and that's how they get that the fallen angels. They said angels came down to heaven, came down from heaven, and had sex with women. Mm, mm, mm. Angels don't have sex. Mm, mm, I'll get a scripture to prove that, man. Yeah. Two different flashes, two different types of bodies. Right, two different, they're, two, they're celestial. They got celestial bodies. They're, they're like the Silver Surfer or something, you know what I mean? Right. You know, Jack Kirby said the Silver Surfer is based on an angel. The Silver Surfer couldn't have sex with nobody. Mm -hmm. Even though he likes Sue Storm. Uh, no, <laughs> Silver Surfer likes Shalabao. Who's that? That's his girlfriend that he lost. Oh, yeah, from his plan. Yeah. From his plan, but he likes Sue Storm too, though. Yeah, he now, loves Sue Storm. You know, he's just, that means that... That was a touchy story. He was story. an adulteress. He was an adulteress. He was an adulteress, wasn't he? Yeah. He oh, he likes Susan Storm in the movie? The movie and the cartoon. <laughs> he, he, he missed Calabasas. Yeah, there's all kind of adultery in cartoons, man. There is. Ain't nothing but adultery oh, in yeah. cartoons. In the comic like, books, uh, ain't nothing but adultery, man. Like it, like a. Uh, uh, Spider Man, bitch. Spider Man. Oh, bitch. yeah, Spider Man. Goddamn Peter. She, she fucked everybody. Yeah, Mary Jane. <laughs> Mary Jane, yeah. That's the whole Spider Man. Yeah, you're right, bro. Yeah. Because, I, man, I love some kind I'm an expert on the comic books. I done Mary read Jane all that shit. Straight on it. Yeah, because at first, Peter was with your girl. Uh, what's his first girlfriend, the bitch with the white hair? Uh, Gwen. Uh, what was her name? It was Gwen, wasn't it? Huh? And Gwen. Is it Gwen Stacy? Oh. But then he got with Mary Jane, but Mary Jane them passed around. She was with the Oswald motherfucker. She was with the Green Goblin son. She she done passed. She was a supermodel. She done been passed she around. Was with Venom. Mm -hmm. And he's crying to yeah, be with her. That's Brock. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So here, Peter Parker crying to be with this hoe. And Lana is a hoe, too. Peter Lo Parker Lana. Oh, oh, yeah, Lois Lane. No, Lois Lane. And Lana. And she Lana was Lane. Yeah, because Lois Lane, she was That's with some Superman other... Superman bitch, right? Yeah, before Clark Kent got... I don't really like DC. She, she liked Superman and Clark Kent, but she ain't know that the same people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, because... That's just retarded, man. Why here this this motherfucker got superpowers. Could take over the whole planet, but he's on Uncle Tom works for the government. And then he is fighting to get a raggedy piece of pussy to dumb and passed around. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. If I was yep. Superman, I've been snatched I'd have a whole plantation of bitches. Yep. Superman. Damn right. And this uh, Wolverine. He's trying to fuck yeah, um, yeah. Cyclops during yeah, all the uh, time. Jean Grey. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, they did. He did fuck her. Did he? Yeah, oh, many times. I'm not surprised. Oh, yeah, yeah. Surprised. He did fuck her. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Because you read back in the mm -hmm. old Chris Claremont books, right. he was always fucking with Jean Grey. He was in the cartoon. Sure was. Always. Always. They had a cartoon back in the early 90s. That's crazy, man. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's a good cartoon. Yeah, but he was a fucking adulterer. Yeah. Wolverine. Goddamn Logan. Goddamn Logan. A four foot tall midget. Goddamn Logan. <laughs> yeah, what is he? He's short as hell. He's 5'4. He's 5'4. He's 5'4. He's 5'4. He's a little short man. I'm talking about the comic book. He's 5'4. Well, in the movie, they made him tall. I hate that too. I hate that too. I know a motherfucker. You're right, though. 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 Isn't Spider Man gay now? Spider Man, oh, yeah, dude, that play him. Oh, yeah. no, the, the actor yep. that plays him is gay. Yep. Oh, straight gay. Yeah, yep. it, it, no, he said he, the actor was complaining because he wanted Spider Man to come out the closet. <laughs> but no, nah, trust me, don't get to it. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, don't, don't, they don't made the, uh, one of the Green Lanterns gay. Sure, oh, they did? Yeah, one of, because you know, there's a bunch of different Green Lanterns. I forget which one. I don't, I don't, Green Lantern, who reads that shit? That's just garbage, man. But I, the story came out like two years ago. Oh, one of the, I remember that story. That's funny, too. I remember that like story. Like a Green Lantern. And it, uh, what was the story of Green Lantern? What, No Fear? The story of Green Lantern? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he was, his weakness was the color yellow. Yeah, I'm talking about uh, to be a Green Lantern. You had to oh, have yeah, no you fear. had to have no fear. That's right. Be and, pure. And, and that, that oh, you had to be pure, oh, right? Well, a pure no heart. Mm -hmm. So they tell you to be... That's some faggot shit. See, that's all that propaganda put in the comic book. Because who owns the comic book industry? Who prints those comic books? A so-called Jew, the devil. Yeah, yeah. The devil himself. Yeah. Check it out. I was reading um, on Harold Ford, and uh, he used to put a little booklet in the cars, the T model that he used to sell back in the early, the early 1900s, man. And he put, in, one, in, in the book, uh, he would put through Hollywood and movies, been destroyed because of Jews. Oh, I was talking about Henry Ford. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. He was going through a whole list of shit, yeah. and at the end of every sentence, he would put, because of Jews. Because <laughs> of Jews. Because of this and that. Right. <laughs> and when you hear people talk about great American heroes, how come they don't never mention Henry Ford? Yeah, right. right. Yeah, he was a great American hero. Well, they probably don't mention him. Chiefs was a... Well, they say he hated was, Jews. Yeah, they say he loved uh, Hitler. Well, he, he, well, he said he helped Hitler out. He helped, he did help. Well, he, Hitler he, he, he was. Said, he did send him money. Hitler was Time Magazine Man of the Year. Sure the fuck was. Yeah. So what the fuck they talking about? Yeah. And that book, that magazine is worth, uh, shit, you can, get it, you can buy it for like 20 G's <laughs> if you want it. Yeah. But Henry Ford, he made, he made some good documentaries too. Yeah, but he hated those fucking Jews, yeah, he man. Wrote, he wrote a book. He, wrote a book. He, he broke down the elders of the protocols of the, of the Zion. elders of Zion. He wrote a. Uh, What's it called? He broke it down. He wrote a, a commentary on it. Sure did. Yeah. He actually he, 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 um, he was releasing parts of the protocols of sign in the actual newspaper. And it was like a 12 parts, 9, 10, 11, 12 part series. So you any, know, if anybody knew about the Jews, it would be him. He, he's one of the most powerful, richest men in the whole country. Yeah. So, I mean, he was up there. Yeah. So he had knowledge that we. You know, the average person don't possess. He know what the fuck was going on. He got all that money. He had to deal with the banks and all that shit. Damn right. You know what I mean? Let me get on the scriptures real quick. I got some, some fire right here. That's why Henry Ford was an Israelite. 
lot of people have a problem with goddamn Edomite. <laughs> Pay me for the goddamn Edomite. This is uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away mm. while they stand upon their feet. Right, because who's fighting against Jerusalem? Jerusalem represents the 12 tribes of Israel. Because Jerusalem's a people before it's a place. And the main people fighting against Jerusalem is the so-called Jew. Who, who do you think, uh, who do you think uh, created the NAACP? Jews. So-called Jew. Who do you think started uh, the, the women's uh, liberation movement? Jew. So-called Jew. Rex. Cossacks. And their ass shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. That's the part of that board you put it on. Um, here you go. Um, this is a... Hey, I'm gonna just start at one, man. The point is down below, though, right on the fire, bro. Uh, this is Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. That's why, my father, right before I came out here, every time I go to my dad's, that's all I talk to him about is the Jews. Like, Dad, you gotta listen to them. These motherfucking bastards right here. I done educated him. You know what I'm saying? He knows all about them bastards now. Yeah, that's kind of funny, because I got the original um, text of them, uh, Philip Paul's design. Right? Oh, do you? Because you know I, I need to get that, man. Yeah, I got the original. It's in the whole, the original is in the, um, it's a book uh, by Cooper. Um, Alan Cooper? William Cooper? William Cooper, yeah. William Cooper? William Cooper. You're talking about Behold a Pale Horse. Oh, Behold a Pale Horse. Behold I read that horse. shit years yeah. ago. Yeah. Man, he just be bugged out now. Let's get to that stuff. Yeah, they took him out, but William Cooper is still going off. He had a little bit yeah. of knowledge. Mm -hmm. and he had a whole lot of bullshit. Oh. But he did know some shit, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take right. the millstone and grind mill, uncover the locks and make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. The Lord, yeah, so when the Lord returns, he ain't gonna be meeting these devils as a man. You know what I'm saying? Because these, these devils, they actually think they're gonna fight the Lord when he returns with these, uh, with these spaceships and Whew. they, uh, fucking F, what's the F, the fucking, what's that fucking new? What's that new airplane they got? The F-30? F-35? F-35, that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Let's have multiple problems. I'm mine. Uh, like they can't shoot. shoot. Yeah, their right. plane can't fly right. <laughs> their plane can't shoot right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the you know? With elements that he created. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's... Right. That's, that's they're trying to... Hard. That's a good point. He said they're trying to fight the Lord with elements that the Lord created. Right, 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 right. Right, the Lord created steel, aluminum, iron, you know what I'm saying? Copper, gold, silver. <laughs> the angels, they gonna make some of them planes just the elements just separate. That'd be right. Wild. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, that, yeah. You ever seen the movie uh, Lucy? Y'all seen Lucy yet? No, I ain't seen that yeah, yet. Yeah, man, Lucy is deep, man. There goes Lucy your girl. Said, Whoever made that movie, uh, there goes your girl. The yeah. You can't make no movie unless man, that movie when it came out, if the elders would never went to YouTube. All man. that is is the spiritual power. That's Lucy all guy. it is, spiritual power. That's, that, that's all. Lucy. Bring. Lucy bad as hell, man. Uh, I stopped watching movies. Yeah, but anyway, the more her intelligence percentage went up, the more that percentage, the more that, powerful that, she got. Her brain, you know, they say we use ten percent of our brains, right? And her brain. I don't see, oh, I heard up. about that. And more the percentage went you up, the that, more power she was getting. You know, that's not even true. That's that bullshit Esau teaches. Yeah, they teach you. Yeah. only use 10% of your brain. Mm -hmm. they that's that's, a, that's a lot. You about. don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Right. Yeah, you motherfuckers might only use 10% of your brain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. I but, know what you're saying, though, because that's a, one of those common, uh, what's that? One of those common myths. That's part of their, uh, that's part of that, uh, and maybe they keep saying that enough, people believe it, so yeah, they'll, they'll stay on that, that low level. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? That that's old. Right. That's 10 they, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's how it's always that's old. Good. Like all shit, they play on the silver radio all the goddamn time. They constantly, constantly 
They keep on that low level vibrating. Yeah, yeah. I was seeing a study today, if you eat walnuts, it makes your brain storage big. Get more gigabytes in your brain. You like, Channel 10 pushing that shit. You like Johnny Mnemonic? We're in a movie, Johnny Mnemonic. No, he had like 54 megabytes or something. You on a reason it? Yeah, no, he only had like 50 gigabytes or something. It wasn't even that much. His brain could hold. That movie was shit. That movie was corny as shit. Which movie was that? Johnny Manon. I mean, that was my shit, that. man. They had a dolphin hacking computers with iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> His acting was corny as hell back then. <laughs> <laughs> iced tea. Iced tea can't Dude, that shit was corny as he's, hell. He's a corny motherfucker, period. Wasn't he on Law and Order or something? Yeah, he still is. That motherfucker getting paid, man. Yeah, he getting paid. That wicked ass nigga getting paid. Man. Yes, but soon they actually gonna have it so you can like put an SD card in your brain. Like, dude. Yeah, sure the fuck is. Well, she's, she's mid was going up and she was able to, uh, to control the elements, just like the angels control the elements, man. Mm -hmm. And they proved that when, you know, there's videos when the UFOs was going over uh, nuclear site silos. Shut and they shit had, down. And they was had the countdown. Oh, make they, the made, they made a launch, huh? Yeah, or, make, the ca launch, uh, make the launch sequence start counting down. And then down. they stopped it right before it yeah, yeah, yeah. So they control this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they was testing it out. They, yeah. The angel got power. Right, right, right. right, 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 right make sure it worked. Right, right. The yeah, angel got power. angel could do some bugged out shit probably. I don't know. I'm just... Well, you know, no, yeah. I mean, they can, like, just create magic. Damn They're okay. angels. They're angels. They're right. spiritual beings. You don't talk about can't even fathom the stuff. Can't fathom. Can't fathom. Can't fathom. Because yeah. people, because people think they got some knowledge of physics and mathematics. What kind of knowledge you think an angel has? Mm. They can fly between dimensions. Mm. Mm. Y'all motherfuckers can't go between dimensions. Mm. You can't fly from outer space. Zigzag across the sky, go down to the ocean, and pop back up again. <laughs> Right, right, right. It's not happening. Yeah, they can't grow into giants or yeah, just grow. Yeah, small as a just like just like Galactus. Mm -hmm. Galactus just one minute he's our size and he gets bigger and bigger yes. and bigger yeah. and bigger. Yep, 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 yep. You know what I mean? Yep. There's a Star Trek movie when they was fighting Apollos. Apollos was a god, and he was he, he was able to grow into a giant. Yeah, Say yeah. Apollos? Yeah, Apollo. What's wrong? Well, that's based on Apollo. Star Trek, the old Star Trek. Well, that's how it is too. The old Star Trek. Well, Apollo is based on the Israelite anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. That's right. tell you, that's the, based on the Nephilim before the flood. Yeah, that was oh. one of my favorite Star Wars, Star Trek. Too. Which one was that? It's an old one. Back in the you know, this first with um, uh, Spock and. And, Which uh, part was Captain Kirk? I mean, I've seen them all. Yeah, you, they, they was fighting. Um, did you was, did you know motherfucking Captain Kirk is a goddamn Jew? Oh, I was looks like one. You know, Wikipedia and type in list of uh, Jews in Hollywood or list of famous Jews. Oh, William Shatner. But he he got to be a Jake. Yeah, he's yeah. a Jake. Yeah, yeah. You could tell by when he was younger he was Jake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's too he goddamn he smooth. Yeah, he's smooth as shit. Hell yeah, I knew he was a Jake. Yeah, but he's, I'll, I'll, silly as hell. I used to think he was the greatest actor in the world. There's another uh, comic book character too that um, got a beat they got from scripture. Uh, what's his name? The villain for the uh, Avengers, uh, Ultron. Ultron. Yeah. I was going. Well, that's that from that new movie, The Age of Ultron, is coming out. Yeah, yeah. But the Age of Ultron, that's going more into the to the technological age. They, 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 they'll put some of this technology in the movies, getting everybody ready for that chip. Getting everybody ready to become half human, half cyborg. They getting ready for the transhumanist movement. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's like a German or a Russian billionaire or something like that that's okay. actually putting money into. Well, wow, you got a lot of people doing that. But that, that famous dude is the guy that works for Google. His name is Ray Kurzweil. That's the famous transhumanist. But I mean, there's a bunch of them rich devils put money into that. Yeah, because they, they really are. Because they think they're going to escape death. By uploading their consciences to a computer. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? It's gonna be like yeah, Futurama. Man, you they ever are watch? spending billions of dollars on this research. Johnny Depp got a movie like that. Yeah. Trans something. They're oh, yeah. spending Johnny Depp billions of dollars on this tech, trying to develop that man, trying to transfer their intelligence to a computer. computer. Right. They're spending billions of dollars on research. They gonna, it's like some Darth Vader type shit. Wait a minute. What's the scripture saying? Hold on. Let me get this. Hold on. And that's why I go back to the mark of the beast, man. Cause they, they plan on merging man with machine. You know what I'm saying? They actually got some type of computer that got uh, somebody's heart to tell me. Hey, I got some 
actually all these hoes are fucking hoes. They look good though. I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? As long as you don't weigh 300 pounds, you good. What'd you do? I don't know, some of them big women can hold their shit together, though. I've seen this one video, it was like these bitches dancing in the club. It was like 300 and over only. Wow. Some of them look bad, though. I mean, sometimes you'll have that, but... Maybe, I don't know, that's scary for me. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> the when they say they, they, they're trying to be like the Most High, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all that this devil is trying to do. He's trying to be like the Most High. Yeah, imitate. You know? Wow. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Come on in, man. Oh, yeah, the, yeah in. that's 14. That's 14. I'm talking about Lucifer. Lucifer, that's He's right. Lucifer. That's right. He's devil. He's devils. That's where you get the word Illuminati. Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really the Illuminati. The ju, ju, <laughs> the, it's the Jew World Order. The Jew Illuminati. <laughs> With For Jews, real? you lose. For real. <laughs> For real. <laughs> right? <laughs> the Jew Illuminati. If y'all got a scripture, get it out before this battery dies. Oh yeah. Isaiah 14. I'll get a battery 12. ready. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? That's some Jews over How there. art thou cut down to the ground? And you know what? Them Jews, especially I, mean, I was reading like before the uh the ninth century, them motherfuckers was calling themselves the uh they was calling themselves the serpent people. Serpent. serpent people. That's what they was calling themselves the serpent people. But because the know? serpent represents wisdom. Yep, and now well, they try to say the Jews got the highest IQs on the earth. Oh, shit. That's what they try to say. They, they say their DNA is superior to yours. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's, oh, wow. You're just a goy. I can't think of the name of the dude, but during the, um, it was back in 1976, this dude gave an interview. And um, and he came out and admitted that. He said, most Jews won't admit it, but um, our, our God is Lucifer, what the scripture is saying. That was, that was in the, uh, the interview that you did on the radio. I might have him on the phone. That was William Fink. What's that name? William Fink interviewed A. Finkelstein. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. I, I, I'm it's not William Fink. It's, it's not William Fink. It's a uh, shit. I talked to this dude, uh, Pastor Wick, Wickstrom. Pastor Wickstrom. I actually talked to him on YouTube. Right, right, right. He, I be trolling the shit out of his channel. He's an Israelite. Dude's name was he was he was killed him after this interview back in '76. His name was 